Hello, I'm Renee. Welcome to this tip and trick. So, what is compatibility? Compatibility is a set of plugins that will allow you to transfer worksheets from another software to EasySign with just one click. Actually two. Sometimes you will have designs made in Illustrator, Corel Draw or Photoshop, either done by yourself or supplied by a customer, and those designs need further processing. You then want to transfer them to EasySign for processing and output to a plotter, printer or engraver. EasySign is designed for the sign industry, so here you will have the tools that ensure a professional output to any device. Sometimes you like the design in one software because you are used to the software. You don't have the time to study the ins and outs of a software like EasySign, one that is designed for the sign industry, with all the tools to guarantee a professional output. Using compatibility will let you ease in to working with EasySign without interrupting your daily workflow. But enough of the theory. I will show you a typical workflow using compatibility in Illustrator. The workflow is the same for any other software that is supported in combination with compatibility. First of all, where can we find it? Well, that's easy enough. Just select, select the new file, compatibility and the program of your choice. If you select the program of your choice from this menu, this program will start and compatibility will be loaded. You can however, however also have this program already running before you start compatibility. As you can see in the taskbar of Windows, I already have Illustrator up and running. This will spare you from watching the splash screen for about two minutes. Another thing I need to tell you before I will select this menu is where, compa where compatibility will be accessible. Pardon me. Compatibility will always be accessible from the notification area of Windows, also known as the system tray. That's this area here. So now I will select the menu File, Compatibility and Illustrator CS3. In the notification area of Windows or System Tray, a new icon will appear. This is your small command center for compatibility. Placing this in the notification area will make it accessible from EasyStime and Illustrator simultaneously. So this little icon here. I will now switch to Illustrator. Here I have already opened the worksheet I would like to transfer to EasySign for plotting and optimization. I select every object on the worksheet I want to transfer to EasySign, in this case everything. Next I click on the icon in the notification area and select export to EasySign. And here we have it. The worksheet is now an easy sign. Looks alright at first glance, and it is if you want to print it. But I want to plot this file, so let's look in wireframe if it's up to it. And no, it isn't. These are all lines. No way you can plot this. But this is, but this is easily fixed. Just make sure that all lines are selected which they all will be after uh, using compatibility, and then select the menu Effects, Expand, Pen Style. So, Effects, Expand, Pen Style. Expand Pen Style. Excuse me for that. That's a lot better, but still not what I want. The lines are still crossing each other. Not something you want when plotting a file. But this is also easily fixed. With the object still selected, I will open the welding toolbar and select the option Melt Objects. So view welding toolbar and the first icon Melt Objects. Perfect. The object is now ready to plot, but I am a little perfectionist. Difficult word. I don't like the parts in the original where they, there are a lot of unnecessary bulges. And probably the number of unnecessary nodes due to the original pen style will be far too high, which will only slow down your plotter and will not give the best results. 
So, the first thing I do is convert this object to curves. You can do this easily by pressing Ctrl plus Q, or by pressing this button right here. Now I select the drag tool. As you can see, there are a lot of nodes. Let's zoom in further on the left eye, if my mouse will cooperate. You can see an ugly bulge around here. Maybe you can see it better this way. This is easily fixed. I will select these nodes. And select the option Replace by Curve. Perfect. But I don't want to do this for any or every place in the design. This will take too much time. There has to be an easier way to do this. And there is. First, let's undo the last step. Press Escape to go to the previous tool. In this case, the selection cursor. And let's zoom in on the nose. As you can see, it has also an ugly bulge around here and a lot of unnecessary nodes. So let's fix all of these problems in just one go. We select Arrange and then Optimize Shape. This will open a dialog. In this dialog we will have a few options. The most, the most important one here is Tolerance. What will happen if we press Apply? EasySign will try to remove as many nodes as possible, retaining the original shape of the object. The option Tolerance lets you specify the balance between the number of nodes to be removed and retaining the original shape. So, the lower the tolerance, the more the object will retain its original shape. The higher the tolerance, the more nodes will be removed, but in some areas the object will lose some of its original shape. In this case, I want to lose a lot of nodes. And retain as much of the original shape as possible. But also I want some of the bulges to be gone. I've done this kind of thing before, so I know that around 12 will be what I'm looking for. So let's press Apply and close the dialog. As you can see, the bulges are gone. Let's press Escape to return to the drag tool. Now only the nodes that are absolutely necessary to make up the shape are present. All the other nodes are gone. Let's zoom back to the left eye. And as you can see, the bulge, bulge are gone, is gone, was the only one here. And all the unnecessary nodes on this line are also gone. Now I'm satisfied, and this object is ready to plot. Let's do it all again, very quickly. We've already opened compatibility, you don't have to close it. During uh, one computer session, you can always leave it open. It uses very little uh, processor space. In Illustrator, I select the objects I want to plot. I select Export to EasySign. In EasySign, I select Effects, Expand Pen Style. I select the Welding Toolbar and Melt the Objects. I convert the object to curves and I use Arrange, Optimize Shape, Apply, Close. Within a minute I'm done and it's ready to plot. I hope you've enjoyed this tip and trick and that it will be of use to you.